Today we're going to spend some time with one of my all-time favorite sport trucks. This is a 2005 BMW X5 4.8 IS. Under the hood is the familiar BMW 4.8 liter V8. Now I say familiar because this is used in a lot of the high-end models, the BMW 750, the 650, but it's a 4.8 liter V8 and this tune it makes 360 horsepower. Uh, it's then routed to the six-speed automatic that's routed to all four wheels. Uh, very, very powerful engine, a lot of low-end torque, a lot of high-end horsepower. Makes a great V8 sound. It sounds more of like an, a traditional American V8 than what you'd expect from BMW. But the car just came off, uh, came back two days ago from BMW where they did the complete maintenance, so the car is 100% up to date on maintenance. Uh, but let's take a walk around and show you the condition. Take a peek across the front, there's really nothing to note as far as condition. Obviously a few stone chips, the car has covered 55,000 miles, but all original condition. Uh, they did add somewhat of a tow hook under here, this is kind of a, a neat piece that accentuates the front of the car. You do have bising on headlamps up here along with the sprayers as you can see coming out of the bumper there. But on the driver's side, you're going to find these massive wheels. They're 20 inches all the way around. On the front, you have a 275-40R 20-inch. Uh, great looking wheel, great looking tire. And these are brand new. They were just put on. Uh, look down the side, 4.8 IS badging indicating the correct model. Power folding mirrors on the exterior. Uh, the windows are tinted. That was done after market, but they're already there. So for whoever the next owner is, they can choose to leave it. I think it really complements the car. Uh, on the rear, these are supercar sized tires. You got a Bridgestone Potenza again. 31535R20. That's crazy. 315 wide. That's huge. Uh, they ride perfectly quiet again. Brand new tires. The rear is all stock on this car. You can see the twin outlet exhaust that comes from the factory as well as the embedded park sensors that pair with the front park sensors to give you front and rear. Uh, but you do have a trailer hitch. This was something that uh, obviously the cutout from the factory right here added right in. Uh, and that is the BMW factory hitch. On the passenger side, it's excellent condition all the way down just like you'd expect on the driver's side. Uh, the tires again brand new, 20 inches all the way down. You got a small abbreviated running board here. But let's take a peek inside. This is probably one of my favorite tailgate designs, especially for the more sporting natured fan. Uh, it's a clamshell design. Got two pieces to go down, electric release. Uh, obviously pops right open, so I can sit here and drink my refreshments during the football game. Uh, in the rear, one thing you're gonna find in the X5 here is the optional pull-out luggage compartment here. But obviously this will help you load in. Once you get your stuff loaded on, push it right back. In the rear, on the side panel here, you'll find the drive for the navigation system as well as the six disc CD changer. Should you need some more room back here, these are actually electronically adjustable backrests. Uh, just use this button right here. You can see I'm pushing that forward. Take a look inside, it's virtually brand new. Uh, I'm a six footer, I'm just gonna step myself in here. Pretty much step right into it, not up, not down, just in. Uh, what a fantastic driving position. This is some of the best visibility I could, I could really sight out of any sport utility. It almost rivals a Range Rover, which is spectacular. You can see wood trim right across the dashboard. That's something that's optional on these in particular. Uh, automatic setting for your Xenons up here, along with fog lamps, power tilt and telescope, steering wheel, as well as height adjustable suspension. That's something you really don't see on a lot of X5s. If you look here, you'll see the BMW factory navigation system. Obviously, this pairs with the audio system, so you get to use the CD changer in the back as well as your radio functions. Uh, if I pop this open, you can listen to your cassettes in here, and then you've got your CDs in the back uh, and the six disc changer. But obviously, showing where we are right now, below that, dual zone climate control, just essentially set your temperature and forget it. The automatic mode will modulate all of it. Now, there's a bunch of buttons on the lower part of the actually at the base of the console here. Uh, you've got heated seats for both front occupants. Uh, this is what's called hill descent control. It's like cruise control for going down the side of a mountain. Uh, DSC, that's your dynamic stability and traction control. Now that's going to go on every time you start your car, so this button will actually uh, turn it off. Uh, power hatch release. This is the override for your uh, front and rear park distance control, which as soon as you pop it in reverse, you'll see that light goes on, shows you it's active. And this button right here will reset your tire pressure system. Here you got the shifter for the six-speed automatic. Drop it right and drive, it's like any other automatic. Pop it to the left, you go into sport mode, and if you choose to get even more aggressive than that, push it forward to downshift, pull it to upshift, and it becomes a manual transmission for you right there. If you look at these three little lights embedded in here, another really great aftermarket option that was put on here is the K40 built-in front and rear radar system. 
Sports seats in here are fantastic. Obviously, they offer a lot more support than the traditional X5 seat. But what you do have is with the luxury package, you've got an adjustable backrest. Obviously, you got your regular tilt for that. But what you do is have an articulation part on the top that will actually curve to meet your shoulders. So you really uh, can get the perfect uh, adjustment for your back. And then if you're looking at a power headrest as well. Mmm, it's comfy. The rear seat in the 4.8, very luxurious place to be as well. Obviously a ton of room. I'm a six footer, so I've got a ton of legroom here. This is where I would be sitting in the front, so I can actually recline and get comfy. But you do have heated seats in the rear for the outboard occupants. And then on the door here, you've got manual sunshades for the rear, which being apparent, it's almost invaluable. You can't put a price on the rear sunshades. Pretty much common knowledge that BMW builds every car to be a driving machine. Uh, X5s, all X5s, no exception. But this is the closest, I think, uh, to an M car that they made of the X5 uh, originally in this body. Now, for a hundred grand, you can get a brand new uh, X5M. But even then, I don't think it has the character of what this car has. Uh, this reminds me of the E39 M5. Uh, you got similar gauges there, an M spec gauge in there. Much thicker steering wheel here, multifunction, power tilt and telescope. Uh, the visibility in every X5 is fantastic. This car, obviously no exception. Awesome seats here, sport luxury seats, height adjustable suspension, automatic setting for the Xenons up front. Got the factory navigation right here. You can see they got the map dialed up. But I mean, this is really a, a brute truck. The steering doesn't feel as if it's power assisted. It's almost heavy enough. Obviously it is, but it's got a big block sound to it. Here, we'll put it in sport just so you can hear it off first gear, see if we can get a little bit of uh, exhaust noise. But this is the 4.8 liter V8, 360 horse in this. And it's rock solid. Brand new tires in this car, which obviously make a huge difference. Uh, 275s up front and 315s in the rear. That's supercar sized tires. Uh, I don't even think the Porsche Cayenne Turbo S has tires like that. Everything about this truck is sport. I mean, here it's luxury. We're cruising along at a normal pace here today, and a uh, really nice fall afternoon. Nothing about this truck is different than brand new. Uh, the alignment's dead on. Uh, it does have, and this is huge for a buyer. This is this, to my perspective, would be a, a huge asset in buying the car. You've got the factory scheduled maintenance included on the car, out to 100,000 miles, but it runs through uh, February 25th, 2011. Uh, that includes your pads and rotors, fluids. I mean maintenance, anything the car's got for scheduled maintenance. Uh, and that's pretty, pretty amazing. Obviously a few thousand dollars in value there. But it also keeps the car running optimally all the way out to 100,000 miles with absolutely no cost to you. Uh, they didn't really replicate this car. They went to the new X5 body, which is a great truck. It doesn't have the same panache. Man, I've never used that word before. But it's fast, it's comfortable, it's great looking. Great color combination, and to find 55,000 miles on it, this speaks volumes of the build quality of a BMW in general. But listen to this. It's awesome. Here we go. That is so cool. What an awesome sounding V8. Just wants to dig back in again. 